On a Friday afternoon, I was observing a conversation in the canteen of our workplace. And there were two guys talking about an adventure in Africa. And 24 hours later, I was on a plane to climb Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa. Now here comes life lesson number one, never underestimate uh, conversations you have on Friday afternoon in the coffee shop. <laughs> I had conversations with uh, my climbing partners and that thing, that idea of climbing the Himalayas suddenly became real. And I came back from Antarctica and I thought like, wow, now I go to the Himalayas, next stop, 8,000 meter peak, not there and then. But it's quite scary too when you hear like cracking and you think like every kind of ice block is just out to kill you. Um, when we arrive on top, the game's not over yet, like you, you still have to walk on. And as we reached very late into the spring season already, it's May, things are getting warmer in, in, um, in, the, in the Kumbu region. You can see gigantic avalanches coming down from, from each of the side, much bigger than you would ever see in, in the Alps. You're ecstatic on the mountain, you have achieved what you want, and now it's just the way down. And as we were walking down, I definitely experienced exactly whatever, why it's so dangerous on the way down. I was massively dehydrated because I forgot to drink because of all those uh, dealing with the, the injured guy. A few hours later, followed by like a, a moment of helplessness where you try to help a guy, and it's all mixed together. trained mathematician, I, I'm used to doing very rational decisions, but if it really comes push to shovel, I basically said, well, it's the thing I actually firmly believe in. And all these projects I got involved in were like projects I, I, I really believe in and that's where my heart is. So to give something on the way, I think what, what drove me through all the process and keeps on driving me is it's a relentless pursuit of the dreams I'm actually looking for and channel that through what you actually believe in into, into your heart, then the change we're all discussing today is possible and only this guy is the limit. Thank you. <laughs>